Hey everybody, Roger here. I uh, want to talk to you guys today. Want to talk to you guys today about um, uh, this uh, conflicting news stories regarding uh, a young um, drag queen named uh, Desmond is amazing, also known as Desmond Napoles, 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 whatever. Anyways, uh, Desmond apparently has. I've made a video about him and another young. Uh, drag queen kid, uh, but I've never published those videos because um, they're a little too opinionated, and I I, I don't know I, I might publish them sooner or later. Um, but anyways, uh, I am I am gonna publish this one pretty quickly um, because I do have opinions on it. Desmond apparently has just recently started or created a website, a uh, community website for young drag queens, uh, young, young kids, solely for kids, solely for kids, uh, that can, um, where they can, uh, be in a community together and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, as he put it, I think, I can't remember the specific words, but he says something like where they can express themselves fully and freely to any possible extent. Now, the term, and again, I'll, I'll put in the in the in my video below what exactly was stated by him. Um, but this tells me, regardless, the the overtone of what was stated basically tells me that these kids will be able to be. Um, uh, it could be a place where they can be a little promiscuous, risque, um, share, you know, things of that nature. You know, again, parents, when you're given, if you do allow this, you know, you're giving your kids a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, ability to go a little over your control where you should be parenting. So now, and again, I, I, I have, that's the part, that sentence that I'm bringing up is the part that gets me a little annoyed. Um, I'm seeing, I saw a post this morning from Black Pigeon Speaks basically saying it was a, a gay dating website. There are a couple of headlines out there saying that. Then there are a couple of other headlines that don't say that. They say it's a community website for young kids who want to be drag queens. Now granted, just like anybody, uh, a site usually has its own intent, but then the community makes it into something that it wants to. Uh, for instance, you know, anybody can go on Facebook and and uh, use that as a dating site if they want to. They go out and date their own way on there. Granted, it's not what it was built for, but I mean, I'm pretty sure people have been online that way, um, scoured profiles until they found the love of their life or the fuck of their life or whatever. Again, same thing here. Now he says also that these um, that this website will be independently moderated because it's going to be a kids only, no adults allowed uh, site. Yeah, we'll see how good that goes. Going to be some creepy old guys on there who have a, a fix for young boys in drag that are going to be pop, probably scouring that website. How long before? How long will you give? Uh, in days, months, or years before this site is exposed to be, uh, you know, a little area for pedophiles to be uh, frequenting. I don't, I don't give it a lot of time. You know, I, I, I'm not sure how much money Desmond has. I, I've never researched that. It's not my, uh, it's not something I concern myself with. But I, I, unless this is like a crowdfunded thing, I, I, and I don't know if it is at this point, news just came out today that he's made a website like this, um, then I would assume that these crowdfunding people are going to have some sort of a liability, unless there's like a waiver release, uh, to, to, to be not held responsible if any sort of crimes are committed on this website. You know, trafficking, uh, child prostitution, uh, uh, you know, pedophilia, things of that nature. So, again, you might interpret he might interpret this website as as benefiting one group. Uh, uh, still, a group I think is too young to to be asking these kind of questions if they want to be men or women or transgendered or whatever. I think also 
also the other thing of this website is that they is that he's making it to where you will not be classifying yourself as a male or female on there, uh, something to that extent. Um, he doesn't believe in those kind of labels, and he thinks that they are uh, negative and have always been taught that they were bad. So his parents, you know, just a little background, his parents have always, um, you know, uh, uh, taken him out to gay events all his life, and, uh, you know, they do push him, not push him, they do allow him to express himself the way he wants to as a child who wants to dress up as a woman or a drag queen, you know, a persona, I should say, persona is actually the more accurate term, not a woman, and, and, uh, and they allow this, which, again, it's, it's, it's fine. I don't think I have any issue with it. If a kid wants to do what he wants, he, want, he, can, he can do it. However, however I, do, I do have an issue with this going a little overboard and uh, them, you know, having one, at one time taken him to a doctor to go and see if it was okay to transition him. The doctor's like, well, maybe you should give him a little bit of time and, um, and took that advice. But I mean, to... To have parents that wonder if they can just go to the doctor and 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 give him, you know, a, a sex change or, or something to that extent. Come on, these parents have issues. Uh, I would I would I would venture to say these parents are the problem, part of the problem. Granted, it's America. Uh, again, I, maybe this is in the UK. I can't remember uh, or Australia or whatever, New Zealand, wherever it's at. Or Canada, I think. It's Canada and America. It's where these drag queens are at. But I think I think the issue is 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 the parents are letting the kid just these kids these days just do whatever the heck that they want with no discipline, with no with no uh, idea of a repercussion for their actions. Granted, it seems like this guy is building up a big this kid is building up a big fan following which uh, might be good for him, and if he continues down this cycle and this is what he wants to be, more power to him. But, I mean, to, to push the agenda and involve other kids, I, 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 don't, I don't know. You know I, I really have no opinion on that. It's, maybe it's a little bit against it. Um, I just think that, that there's a lot of issues that are... Um, a lot of issues with this website, potential... Uh, hacks, potential security violations. I doubt they're going to have the resources necessary to ensure that there's a lot of compliance. That there's a lot of that this is a safe haven for children, etc., etc., etc. And if they do with crowdfunding or however, if they finance it themselves, more power to them. Um, I, I again just highly doubt it. So, um, anyways, that's my two cents on this. Is is that I do think it's a dangerous precedent for. For children, it's going to open up doors for kids to be uh, victims, more more kids to be victims, and increase their suicide rates. You know, um, not that they're not large already. I mean, the, the suicide rates of transgendered people are pretty high. Um, this is even with uh, with laws and stuff in place for them to be. Um, feel, Protected, protected, protected. To keep them protected. Anyways, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Uh, what do you think of, of this website that he's claiming to build for a community, uh, but at the same time is is um, not really... Uh, I can see malicious activity being the intent here, not for, from him, but from people who want to use this in a negative way. Love to hear your thoughts. Have a great day, guys. Bye.